to more than 600,000 residents in 600 square miles, Bucks County, Pennsylvania is abound with rich history, rural areas, great communities, and busy industrial areas. Our bucolic countryside and beautiful towns, like most communities, are not immune to natural and man-made disasters. Hi, I'm Barb Glansman. The Bucks County Local Emergency Planning Committee was organized to implement the requirements of Title III of the Superfund Amendments and Reauthorization Act. We are also responsible to carry out the provisions of Section 203 of the Pennsylvania Hazardous Material Emergency Planning and Response Act within the geographical boundaries of Bucks County, Pennsylvania. The Bucks County LEPC is comprised of members of the emergency services, community members, small and large industry, and elected officials. The LEPC works in concert with the Bucks County Emergency Management Agency to help citizens prepare for emergencies of all type, including chemical incidents, floods, fires, and other emergent events. In addition, the LEPC works with fire, police, and other emergency services departments to help them be prepared for potential incidents in their jurisdiction. Do I think that our family is ready? Um, no. We are not as prepared as we might, we should be. Um, at this point, actually, with two small children, we're probably completely unprepared for any type of natural disaster or emergency. Do I have a plan at home for an emergency evacuation? I would have to say no because you don't really think of those things around this area, floods and hurricanes and things like that. Maybe just fire is the only thing people really would think about. This short video will share information you need and steps you can take to help prepare for an emergency in your community. From making sure you have correct and timely information when an incident occurs, to preparing you to take the right steps to respond to warnings and events. Some very simple steps can help protect you and your family. We will discuss how to be informed of an emergency, how to prepare for an emergency, and how to receive instructions on what to do through the following systems. The Ready Notify Network. Family evacuation plans designed to help you and your family safely arrive to a shelter if an evacuation is necessary. And the Shelter in Place program. An emergency supply kit is an essential part of being prepared for any situation. An emergency kit with the following recommended items is important for your comfort and survival. Water for drinking and sanitation. A three-day supply of non-perishable food, such as peanut butter and canned soup. A battery-powered or hand-crank radio. A NOAA weather radio with tone alert and extra batteries. Flashlight and extra batteries. First aid kit. A whistle to signal for help. A dust mask. Additional plastic sheeting and tape for sheltering in place. Garbage bags and towelettes for cleaning basic tools, a can opener for food, and local maps in the event you need to evacuate. Additional items for your kit should include prescription medications, baby food and diapers, pet food and extra water for your pets. You should also gather important personal documents such as bank account numbers, homeowners and health insurance information, and emergency reference material such as a first aid book in case of an emergency. A change of clothing is important, as well as a bottle of bleach. How would I find out if there's an emergency? Uh, I think the news, local weather, um, generally on the internet. Uh, I think you live in a small town, so you probably hear some types of sirens and things mainly through how we would find out is mainly through television um, that's probably the only way that I would know if I was aware of something strange going on outside I would turn my radio to KYW 1060 uh, because I understand that's the local um, station that broadcasts emergencies 
um, and would give you advice on what to do. Um, I would expect to hear from the authorities about an emergency, probably through the television with the emergency alerts, or probably through the internet, actually, it would be a fast way to, I think, alert people about what's going on. Um, they would probably reach us either by TV, radio, internet, possibly phone. Bucks County subscribes to a system that is called the Ready Notify Network. Examples of a disaster where Ready Notify may be activated are flooding or other weather emergency, power outages, chemical release, or other disaster that may affect lives or property. Ready Notify can also alert you to road closures and other helpful daily information. To sign up for the Ready Notify Network, go to the county website, buckscounty.org. Find the Ready Notify PA icon and click to enter the Ready Notify system. It's easy to register. Simply click on the registration icon and fill out the form. You will receive a confirmation email and text message once you have signed up. This service is free and your personal information will be kept private. There may be conditions under which you will decide to get away or there may be situations where you are actually ordered to leave. Assemble your family and plan what you're going to do and where you're going to go. In fact, you should choose different destinations in different directions so that you have options in the event of an emergency. It may be easier to notify an out-of-town family member who is not affected by the emergency that you will be evacuating. This person can be the point of contact in case you and members of your family are separated during evacuations. Be sure every member in your family knows the phone number and has coins or a prepaid phone card to call the emergency contact. You should also inquire about emergency plans at other places where you or your family spend time, such as at work, daycare, and school. If no plans exist, volunteer your time to create one. Thinking ahead and keeping an open line of communications and planning will help you and your family remain safe and be reunited quickly. If there is damage to your home, you may be instructed to turn off your utilities. Be sure you know where your electric, water, and gas shutoffs are located. Keep any necessary tools handy for quick use. Teach family members how to turn off utilities. Plan places where both you and your family will meet, both inside and outside of your neighborhood. If you have a car, keep a half tank of gas in it at all times in the event that you will need to evacuate. Become familiar with alternate routes and other means of transportation out of your area. If you do not have a car, plan how you will leave if you have to. Take your emergency supply kit unless you have reason to believe it has been contaminated. Be sure to lock your doors when you leave. Take your pets with you, but understand that only service animals may be allowed in public shelters. Plan how you will care for your pets in an emergency. never heard of that before. Shelter in place? No, I've never heard of that. Do you know how to shelter in place? During certain emergencies, such as a chemical release, you may be directed by the authorities to shelter in place. You can print up a guide from the internet for your emergency kit for future reference. Let's go inside and see how shelter in place works. First, make sure all of your family and pets are safely inside. Lock all doors and close all windows. Next, close all air conditioning and heating vents and fireplace dampers. Turn off all fans, air conditioners, and heating systems. Take your emergency supply kit and move to an interior room with few windows if possible. Next, seal all windows, doors, and air vents with plastic sheeting and duct tape. Consider measuring and cutting the sheeting in advance to save time. Be prepared to improvise and use items you have on hand to seal gaps and keep contaminants out of the room. The local authorities may not have information immediately available. However, stay tuned to your local radio station for further information. If available in the room, stay tuned to the television or internet for further information. If you subscribe to the Ready Notify PA program, details on what to do next may appear on your cell phone or pager. The Bucks County Local Emergency Planning Committee is working hard to ensure that you have the tools you need to remain safe in an emergency. 
We hope that you and your family will use this video as a guide to emergency preparedness and review it often. If you have any questions, please contact the LEPC through our website or call the Office of Bucks County Emergency Management.